Ina Nejona, A Beautiful Life, looks at the legacy of uranium mining on the Navajo Nation. Amanda Lee Blackhorse from Big Mountain, Arizona, will talk about a study that will help understand the effects of uranium on children. Ina Nejona, A Beautiful Life, is an outreach initiative for the Navajo Birth Cohort Study which is now recruiting moms-to-be between the ages of 14 and 45 years old. The goal is to recruit over 1,500 moms-to-be who have lived on the Navajo Nation for at least five years or more. The study will look at public health impacts and possible exposure to past uranium mining and milling operations. Fathers are strongly encouraged to participate. The Chinle Comprehensive Healthcare Facility, Tuba City Regional Healthcare Center, Northern Navajo Medical Center in Shiprock, New Mexico, Sehotso Medical Center in Fort Defiance, Arizona, and Gallup Indian Medical Center have a cohort clinical liaison on staff who can answer questions. You can learn more about the study by setting up an appointment today. One of the study's community health environmental research staff members or a research field staff member from Southwest Research and Information Center are available to come to your home or make a presentation at your local chapter house. A cohort clinical liaison works closely with the women who are considering motherhood and participating in the Navajo Birth Cohort Study. To become a participant, the mom must have a confirmed pregnancy and be willing to deliver her baby at one of the five participating hospitals. Mom and baby will participate in the study until the baby is 12 months old. According to Henry Waxman during the 2007 hearings in Washington, D.C., uranium companies began mining Navajo lands in the 1940s until the last company closed up shop in 1982. Abandoned uranium mines, inactive uranium milling sites, and contaminated water resources were left behind by major companies. Even homes with high levels of radiation have been discovered where families still live today. In August 2010, during the Waxman hearings, the U.S. Congress mandated a five-year cleanup plan. The Center for Disease Control Agency for Toxic Disease Registry received $2 million to fund the Navajo Birth Cohort Study. The long-term exposures to these abandoned uranium sites continue to affect Navajo communities today. How does it affect our families? How does it affect our communities? And how does it affect our children? For more information, please visit healthyvoices.org or like us on Facebook. The Navajo Birth Cohort Study also posts short videos on YouTube each month for public information. The latest video, Navajo Birth Cohort Study Part 9, Get Your Water Tested Stresses the importance of getting drinking water tested in the home. Please contact a cohort clinical liaison. Call toll-free 1-877-545-6775. The Community Environmental Health Programs at the University of New Mexico partners with the Southwest Research and Information Center, the Navajo Division of Health, and Navajo Area Indian Health Services to conduct the study. Thank you. Please visit us at www.healthyvoices.org. Friend us on Facebook or look at our videos on YouTube. How go on that?